Life turned tragic for Connie Culp when five years ago, a shotgun blast left her face horribly disfigured. But five months ago, Connie received a new face from a deceased donor. And just a few days ago, Connie Culp stepped forward to show off the results of the United States' first face transplant. Her new look was a far cry from the scarred, noseless face that had made children run away in horror. Culp, at a news conference at the Cleveland Clinic, recounted how she used to deal with situations like that. She'd pull out her driver's license to show the child what she used to look like, explaining that she had been shot. But now, years later, as the nation's first face transplant recipient, Connie stepped forward to show the rest of the world what she looks like now. Her expressions are still a bit wooden, but she can talk, smile, smell, and taste her food again. Her speech is at times a bit difficult to understand, and her face is bloated and appears squarish. Her skin in places droops in big folds that doctors plan to pare away as her circulation improves and her nerves grow, which will help to animate her new muscles. But 46-year-old Culp had nothing but praise for those who made her new face possible, and in a jovial tone quipped, I guess I'm the one you came to see today, adding that she felt it was important to honor the donor family that had made this incredible operation possible. Until very recently, Culp's identity and how she came to be disfigured were a secret, Culp's husband, Thomas, shot her in 2004, then turned the gun on himself. He went to prison for seven years while Connie was left clinging to life. The blast shattered her nose, cheeks, the roof of her mouth, and an eye. Hundreds of fragments of shotgun pellet and bone splinters were embedded in her face. She needed a tube into her windpipe to breathe. Only her upper eyelids, forehead, lower lip, and chin were left. But despite the tragedy, Connie did not give up hope. She endured 30 operations to try to fix her face. Doctors took parts of her ribs to make cheekbones and created an upper jaw from one of her leg bones. She had countless skin grafts from her thighs, but she was still unable to eat solid food, breathe on her own, or smell. Then, on December 10th, 2008, in a 22-hour operation, Dr. Maria Semyonov led a team of doctors who replaced 80% of Culp's face with bone, muscles, nerves, skin, and blood vessels from another woman who had just died. It was the fourth face transplant in the world, though the others were not as extensive. This January, Culp was able to eat pizza, chicken, and hamburgers for the first time in years. Connie hopes her incredible journey will help open the doors of hope for others who have suffered similar injuries.